Hi and welcome to Visual Basic Tutorial of a Data Grid View. On this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to add the data to our data to Data Grid View. So let's start by clicking on Create New Project. The next thing is to select Visual Basic right there and click on Next. And next, let's give our project a name. I'm just going to call that VB underscore data grid view underscore YouTube. There. Now click on create. Alright, now that the development environment is ready, I will now click on toolbox and let's select. I'm going to select text. I will also select label and buttons. Select labels. We need data grid view itself right there. That's it right there. Double click on that. Okay. Now buttons. There. All right, move the data grid view. Just position it somewhere. Maybe right underneath here and buttons here all right i'll select all of the objects then let's come in here and enhance the font size all right let's make the font size approximately yeah 24 will be fine make that bold and click on ok and there we go so let's let's increase the size of the button yeah right there and just maybe copy about three of those there and here that's my data grid view and here I need a couple of those that's two maybe two more here and one more yeah that's fine right there Let's move this down a little bit okay I'm going to just speed up the design of the whole interface then I will continue with the whole development of this okay I think we're almost there actually let's move that there right I'll just add names to all of those and we take it from there let's assume we have student right there student ID and here we have course ID or maybe student name let's pin this down that will be the name first name and here that will be sole name Okay, here we have a student. Let's say the student address. Post code. And telephone number or mobile number. There. Right. There we go. Now let's just move this so that we have enough room for everything. Let's move it right there and move this as well. Yeah, just drag this this much. There. Now this is going to be known as exit. And this will be BT and exit. Okay, this one is reset as well. And here is our data display. And the name will be BT and display. 
and so on all right all of the components now have a name so what I need to do next is you see for the data grid view let's select this rectangle there and in here I'm going to uncheck enable add okay enable editing and uncheck deleting as well so the next thing is I'm going to click on add columns now here we go so in here I'm going to leave column 1 there as a default name then that will be student ID add another one the next one will be first name and another one sorting add one more we have address again and we have postcode there we go and finally we have mobile phone mobile number there we go guys there and we can now close that that is it to double click on display and right in here we enter data grid view dot rows there dot add and what am I adding I'm adding the content that I have on board so I'm going to start with txt student ID dot text I would then enter a comma so that I can enter the other components on board now just copy this to speed things up and the next one is and the next one is going to be txt first name dot text and we have txt surname dot text as well we have txt address the text followed by txt postcode dot text and finally txt mobile dot text there that's all there is to it so all we just need to do now is run the program and click on display so if we run it now or before then let's finish up with the rest so I'm going to copy all of this so that I can use it to clear my system come back in here double click on reset paste all of that in there and just enter here equals clear delete press enter next one is equals press enter and there yes copy and paste this and that is the reset taken care of now let's take care of exit double click on exit all we need to do in there is application dot exit there and let's just run our program now here are the lines of codes that we add the data on board this we clear and this we exit now let's run the program okay guys decision time let's enter some data in there this student ID is okay and the name happens to be Paul Bowman address of Paul Bowman number one Godson road postcode one QW a mobile number and there so click on display there we go guys you see that that is how you create your own data grid view Peter Stone student ID of Pete Stone an address of Peter Stone 
12 12 and postcode telephone number there okay. let's click on display and there we go guys okay so with that guys i'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial i suppose you guys enjoyed you all have a nice day now and bye for now